Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your man, Just Jay Sama, one of the hosts of the Canon Culture Podcast. Welcome back to another episode. If this is your first episode, make sure to follow all the instructions about following everybody on their social medias, and make sure you also give this podcast five stars if you're listening on Apple iTunes. Um, subscribe to it if you're listening to it on Spotify or any other pl- streaming platform, whatever whatever you're listening to this crap on. Um, anyway, this week we get into some more nerd stuff. We know how you guys love the nerd stuff and then we also get into some pretty serious topics as well for this week um we hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for listening make sure there would just be like random tanks running over me oh man i couldn't do anything that was a different form of bullying back then yeah Yeah, i got bullied they literally literally bullied me the lobby was in trouble the that whole... was pre uh, dirt bikes yeah. or pre flying uh, motorbikes Fortnite. with rocket launchers attached. The whole lobby would be in trouble. Okay. Nobody was safe. <laughs> you running indoors, bitch. Oh, you pussy. You pussy. Oh, God, it's 100 gigabytes. Yeah, no, that's not. Trust me, you don't, you don't want to play. What up, Brother Arrow? I don't think so. Not for 100. Hello. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started today. Is there anything oh, anybody needs to add? Oh, my God. Um, in the chat here, is there anything anybody did not catch up with? Uh, what are we talking about today? we just going to wing it, Tony. we just going to wing it. Just like we do every, every week. Yeah, basically. Damn, I'm getting smoked right now. Hold on. What? Oh my God. What do you want? I know you don't need to poop. You already poop. Don't give me that. Let me see. Liar. Um. There's a couple of things here. Oh, I didn't a, see this. We're gonna take a few minutes. What? What you didn't see? This the 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 different actors playing this man. Yeah, we talked about that last. We article? talked about that yeah, last week. Yeah, we did week, that too. last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will we sleep. That's crazy. Yeah, we know. We know. Yeah, we know. You were you weren't asleep. You were just clocked out. That was your you off week. That. Yeah, that was your off you week, man. That. That's all good. <clears throat> I don't like this idea. <laughs> Why you don't like that everybody. idea? <laughs> I need him to play everybody, bro. I don't want no no. Mm. Oh, Jonathan Majors. I need him to play. But everybody. that's not how the variants work, and you know it. I know, but I'm biased. Mm mm. He's only gonna play the good I ones. I don't want them to cast somebody and they just ruin my whole like. Yo, I don't even like this man. No. I mean, it's gonna happen. They're they're all gonna show up in the same scene at some point. Like, we have Spider Man variants now. Come on, bro. Like, okay. Think about it. I need the trailer for that. By the way, we need the cosmic uh, spider back in that shit. Yeah. Mm. I need that. I need a spider with the booty cheeks. Yes, sir. Which one? Flying through the air. Which one? Yeah. Now you know it doesn't matter. <laughs> Do y'all think anybody could have played Iron Man? No. Nah. I saw that article on Twitter and I was like, yo. Just like nobody could play Sergeant would... Osiris in, in Tropic Thunder. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you need help. You need you need help. I'm a dude. It's playing actually a true, dude. though. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. You need help. <laughs> oh man. I don't think anyone else could have done that, to be honest. Mm-mm. It was a different time. Yeah, it was. You and it's no. Ben Stiller you was know, still uh, making decent films. Yeah, he was. He was popular <laughs> back then, bro. That's crazy. That's so crazy to think about. That's weird. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was one of my favorite movies of all time, man. I Adam love that Sandler movie. was making uh, movies too. Mm-hmm. That wasn't fucking grown ups or whatever that shit is called. All right. Let's see. Uh, before we get started, get started. Let me see. Is there anything? Uh, today's National Boob Day. So, DJ, you can let the dogs out if you want. Huh? No, I don't think we're going to do that. Okay. All right. Are you sure? I just wanted to give you the opportunity, just in case. No, that's, that's a little that's a little too much for the, for the stream. I don't think they'd be able to handle that. Hashtag that's free the much. dogs. That's too much sexy. Uh-huh. On the screen. That's too much. All sexy. right, all right. I'll 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 accept it, I guess. Um, let me see, what else? Hmm. 
Well, yeah, quite a few things this week. Let me just do news.google. Google. Mm, let's click for you. What's going on, chat? RDJ turned Iron Man from a B list hero to an S tier hero. I agree. I agree. I think so too. Spider Man 3 toy teases No Way Home's multi. Was he a B list hero in. Uh... Oh, yeah. When, when, did, when did Iron Man 1 come out? Like, 08? Yeah. I might be wrong on that. Mm -hmm. But I, I would agree with that, actually. I wasn't even into the comics at all. Nobody was checking for Iron Man. You're not into the comics today, DJ. Nobody was checking for Iron Man, bro. But I'm just saying. Like, I didn't. I wasn't into Marvel at all. Besides Spider Man, but. Mm. I think that's what's really disappointing for me is that DC, DC had a head start and they still can't get anything done right so um, you think they should just revamp the day studio like just just get nah, rid of the people and warner like bring new people warner would just... never do that bro because they have uh they have way too many ties to other things because uh that's warner comcast you know what i mean like those higher ups just have they're there until they die basically which is mm. an issue with the with the entertainment industry is like it's really hard for people to get in stay in or even like find a parking spot at all because there's so many people in that space occupying jobs until they die and then the people that replace them are just related to them that have the same exact mindset on how to on how to do things when clearly that's not that's not the case marvel was completely different when they brought feige in and at that time he was just doing marvel cinema he wasn't even responsible for the comics or the TV shows or anything like that. They were like, you know what? You're going to work on Iron Man and Iron Man related properties. Him and John Favreau got together and they said, you know what? We're going to we're going to expand all of this. We're going to bust it wide open. You know what I mean? And sure enough, after a certain amount of time, Thor enters the picture. We get Hulk, we get Captain America, the Avengers are formed, and you know, now it's looking the various Hulks. Yeah, it's it's looking kinda crazy, man. And the more So do you think DC can even revamp the oh, not revamp, but do you think are they're capable of of I think, doing it right? I think DC well, first of all, doing it right is different because according to their higher ups, they are like, Oh, we're not trying to compare ourselves to Disney Marvel when clearly that's what they were trying to do at one point in time. But I think their focus should be, really be on telling great stories instead of like trying to build a multiverse. Because multiverses don't work for everybody unless you take the time to build it up. Just like Batman I, versus Superman actually, didn't work and you know Joker was amazing I, and it's a solo story. So I agree oh, with, I yeah. agree with Jay. <clears throat> um if they tell multiple stories in like a few years they can actually tie all the stories together into a multiverse. Yeah if they wanted to. I mean yeah. I, I honestly think they should I go would, a completely different approach and just let standalone stories be standalone stories that exist in their own universes and then tie them together later. Um yeah. especially when you have something when you have a reset button in your early development of your multiverse, you know what I mean? Like at any point you could kill Flash and call it Flashpoint. Any point. Any point. Make oh, super Superman point. go crazy, yeah. start killing people, you instantly have the injustice timeline of your choosing. You know what I so mean? So why would they not do that and just reboot? Um because that's not how that's not how Warner works. Warner has way too many it's like uh Marvel's like a person who's able to operate and speak and, and get things done. Warner is like a centipede where it's, some of the arms just want to do their own the, fucking things. Yeah, there's too, too many, many cooks in the kitchen. In the mm -hmm. So um, they have a, a lot of issues there. And then they also have people that aren't even in the cinematic, like that are responsible for cinema, that have a say over where stuff goes for mm -hmm. the cinema section. So, you know, it's really mm -hmm. weird. Uh, when you have stuff like that. But then you have great masterpieces like uh, Teen Titans Go. You have like all of these DC and Warner properties that are able to come together. Then you have stuff like Space Jam, which is allowed to exist. So, you know, whether you like it or not, it may not be for you. It, may, it might be right up your alley. But at least they can utilize different properties that they already own. 
And the only reason why they do that is because the different parts are able to collaborate with each other. They have absolutely no... It's almost like Nintendo making Smash Bros. They could just take a Nintendo property and like, boop, just put that character in there. No problem. Not even mm-hmm. a Nintendo a character at this point. Yeah, not even. Like, they've they've expanded way past that. Whereas, when All-Stars was coming up, they have to ask permission for every they're, single studio and like, hey, is this how you want your character represented? They're at a point that just being in the game is prestigious. Like, that's it. They, they did it fucking intelligently. So, so the question is, my question is now is just, do you just think it's, it's a wrap? Like, for, for DC? Or do you think no, it'll no. take something that they have Shazam and Black Adam coming was... up. They have Flashpoint. Yeah, but, that's actually like, going to happen. You, as far as like, I mean, you think they're going to they be good, like great movies? No. No. That, see, that's my movies. thing. Like, what would be it? Fun movies. I'm going to enjoy it. I like a lot of the DC movies. I think the only one I didn't like was Batman versus Superman. That was it. And it's just because I couldn't see anything. That's basically it. Otherwise, I'm just like, oh, this is, this is cute. This is cool. Maybe in my head, I just compared them too much to Marvel. Because I'll be thinking, like, you got all this, all well, I mean, these assets, like, and they, you just... They tried it. They went with, what, Superman, then Wonder Woman, then mm-hmm. Aquaman, and then just it, fucking Justice League. It's like, no, like, these characters are old characters, but you have to give them some time to, like, grow with people. Because, mm-hmm. like, we we didn't even get, like, a cyborg moving, which I was kind of excited for. We didn't get, uh, like, Yikes. it would have been super dope to see a, a Teen Titans movie to introduce the Teen Titans. And then we get cyborg in there. I um, mean, we got a Teen Titans show, and that's yeah, but up like, for debate if it's good or not. Uh, like you know what's movie. interesting? But movie movies, like, movies hit different for people rather than, like, I would have loved other to see shows Beast Boy, bro, mm. in, like the big screen you know what's interesting is the original concepts for uh the show gotham was actually intended to be called bloodhaven and it was supposed to be uh based on nightwing and then that mm. was going to stem into the uh christopher nolan films and then so they wanted to mm. connect those two but <clears throat> at no point were they able to get christopher nolan to come back for a fourth batman movie he was like nah i'm cool and they basically tried to Zack snyder him they tried to get him to be responsible for this multiverse because Marvel was like, hey, so we got this guy who directed Iron Man and was like part of it and partnered up with Jon Favreau and he now runs all of Marvel. And so DC was like, oh, we could do that. Yeah, we could get this get this Nolan guy. And he said, no, I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. So uh, they flipped that around, changed a bunch of stuff, and now we have Titans and we have Gotham. So... It's so I didn't interesting. Mind Gotham. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see any of them. I don't watch any of the TV really? shows. Yeah, I don't watch any TV shows for any of these superhero movies. The only thing I watched was Luke Cage. I watched for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> what else did I watch? I, I think I, I think I watched. No, I didn't watch Daredevil. Really? Um, yeah. No, Daredevil was dope. I wasn't interested. I enjoyed Daredevil. It's something about a blind white year. man. It's, it's something crazy. about a blind white man. I just don't. That's crazy. I don't just care say you like hate blind people. people. Just, just I, I, I hate that they can't I'm see. Sick of it. I hate that they can't Are see. They doing like they putting him in Spider Man? Is that confirmed? Allegedly, allegedly. allegedly. So allegedly. the guy who plays Kingpin in the uh, in the TV series, he's he's actually gonna be in it. So oh, oh he's great. He's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. King. He's a great yeah, he actor. Is. Um, so I'm excited to see that. I think I saw the first half of Iron Fist. And I was like, I I can't. Oh, Iron Fist was I, not I good. That was, no, I that's, like I'm cool. And then I think I watched the, the first two episodes Yikes. of The Defenders, and then I stopped watching it. So you those are off bad. Uh huh. Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see Jessica Jones either. Um, that's care for it. that seemed kind of mid to me. It I was, was just like, I don't get it. It was it was alright. It, and the only reason why I gave any of the other shows a chance was because I I decided to wait for Luke Cage, and that's it. Which apparently he's part of the MCU. So I saw an article earlier uh, last week about um, how they're putting. Hold on, let me see. They can put him in a movie Avengers. somewhere or something. Mm-hmm. Which movie? Same actor and everything. <laughs> Luke Cage what actor movie? reveals when he wanted Netflix. Uh, he wanted the show to have future seasons and possibly uh, he's possibly joining the MCU. So really, it's still up in the air. So Mike Coulter oh, okay. uh, was talking about joining the MCU. So, 
you I know, think, I ain't like I didn't like the second season all that much. You know what's interesting is I I didn't enjoy the ending, but I liked where the second season was going. So we'll see, but the first one just hit like they're recasting they, Iron Fist, up? but not Luke Cage. So. So that'll be interesting. Them. Yep. So a lot of those uh, Marvel Netflix TV shows were obviously canon. Uh, so uh, they're taking the guy who plays Daredevil. He's going to be in, in the next Spider-Man movie. Mike Coulter has been confirmed for, for some projects in the MCU. I assume he's going to do a voiceover and what if. But it, so far it looks like the only person that they're recasting is if they decide to use Jessica Jones and Iron Fist. So... Didn't they? Uh, I seen a, a article about Dave Batista not being asked to to do what if. I thought no, that was really he, interesting. No, really, he, he's not. He's he's leaving. Yeah, he's he's done. He said when he's James Gunn is finished, he doesn't want to work with. He doesn't want to do it anymore. Interesting. And um, from the interview that he had, I think it was with E Entertainment or something like that, and he was saying how. Uh, Drax not being able to wear a shirt was a huge deal to him uh, because he has to keep up this un, un, what he feels to be an unattainable body image, and he's going into his 50s. And he's like, mm -hmm. you know, I just can't do it. Um, on top of James Gunn saying, hey, you know, once, once Guardian 3 is finished, that's it. I'm done. I want out. And so he was like, well, I'm not going to work with Disney. Fuck these guys. So... Oh, excuse me. He said he's out too. So we'll see where that goes. But I've been preaching this all along. I think they could replace him with John Cena, and it'll be perfectly fine. John Cena? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What's uh, Jax's main? Jax's main ability? He said, "If I stand mm. still, I can't move." And <laughs> it's John Cena. Come, oh, come on, bro. Uh, <laughs> come on, bro. Okay. The jokes oh, write okay. themselves. That's all I'm saying. The jokes write themselves. So. You He's know. too busy playing a tree. Leave him alone. <laughs> That's Vin Diesel. So yeah, I know. Diesel. They're the same thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. See, now, yeah. like, I'm thinking about the Luke Cage thing. Because, like, now my biggest thing of what watching Luke Cage was when they killed Cotton. That that sucks for me. Oh, so you're just going to spoil the show right off rip? The show been out for... No spoiler warning? Hey, that's crazy. I didn't, even, I didn't even know who Cotton Mouth was. Damn. The, the show been out <laughs> for what? I, when did when did Luke Cage release? A long, it was a long time ago. A couple years ago. Saying. Yeah, it's been a minute. But his, the actor that played him was Marshall Marshall Ali, and he's Blade yeah, no. now. So, yeah, that's maybe, weird. Yeah, that's weird. That's just like, Cottonmouth was actually dope until they they offed him. Yeah, mm -hmm. I thought he was about to do some crazy shit, and then he was, and then they offed him. Yeah. Uh, let's. See. I ain't never been so mad at a show in my life. You know what? I, I was mad it. too. I said, what? <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> no, nah, it just felt, to me, at that moment, it felt like uh, when you kill Vaz in Far Cry 3. And you mm. find out that he's actually not the main bad guy. That's that's so, what it was. And you then you got to like, deal with Teddy Lady. Yeah, and then you yeah, just like. He got on my nerves too. That fight sucked. <laughs> that fight sucked. Bro. That last oh, fight. Oh my god. With his face. QTEs, bro. I was like, really? QTEs. I mean, yeah, no. that that was an era for Q there was an era for QTEs. Yeah, it was. it was. It was. It was terrible. I hated it. Dying Light had it. God of uh, War had it. God, God of War. War God of War. I think popularized it. I think God of War was the was the one game that like took something that already exist and like made it so popular. Because at the time, I think it was God of War <laughs> two that probably like really really like hit. Because I think there was a button mash one where you're like kicking a guy in the face or something like that, and his head explodes. God of War 3. Yeah. Oh yeah, the God of War three too. When you're when you're peeling. Uh, uh, God of War three is the one where they did it heavily. Yeah. Apollo? Yeah. Apollo's head. They you just like rip. Perfectly. You rip yeah, you his rip head his off of it. Yeah. They, oh my god. Man. You're just like yeah, I'm fucking going crazy and shit. Yeah. No man. That game they were doing perfect. something different when they were in the studio for that. Yeah. Those screens. They said we're gonna have him rip his fucking head off <laughs> hey, with his bare hands with, with his bare hands <laughs> it wasn't even no build up it just he, he he you start the game and he already in the house yeah like it ain't no it was right where like two ended off yeah you know? three 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 started where two ended off How did yeah pretty sure yeah 
and three is technically the end. Like, uh, that's it mm -hmm. for Zeus' story. Mm -hmm. That's True. it for the uh, Greek saga, is what it's called. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Did you see the? Did you guys see the on uh, the cutout clips for for Zeus's voice line? No. Mm -mm. He was supposed to say uh, they cut it out, but he was supposed to be like a tragic hero, and he was like taken by the darkness or whatever, if I recall correctly. He was supposed to be like, that. oh, something about some some redemption line. I forgot what it was. No, I no, seen no. It a long leave, time ago. leave him, leave him as is. Yeah. No, I know they cut it out. They cut it out. But that's what it was they were gonna do that. No, that was that interesting. It. <laughs> it was. You don't uh, think there's any redemption for Zeus? Mm -mm. Nah. Mm -mm. It's kill it's, him. Just the, leave the him. Whole the whole him. reason why he went like as crazy as he did is because uh, he feared the prophecy that uh, one of his children was gonna kill him. Which, I mean, to be fair, he did it to himself. But I, just see I love God of War. I can never play the Dude, games though. I'm excited to see where Ragnarok goes, bro. So. Four. Ooh. That's where it's going. I mean, yeah, yeah no but cap. the the <laughs> how it plays out is basically what I'm. Bro, you Thor killed pulled like, up. You he pulled two of his kids. Y'all are fighting. <laughs> I'm cool. I mean, he, he showed up at the end of the, the the God of War four. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it's coming. Like, he pulled up on some vicious. Four? I'm cool, um, man. I'm cool. Bro, I'm you hoping cool. we see Fenrir. I'm cool. Oh, I don't need cool it. on what? I don't need it. Homie, if you see Fenrir, God of God War can be over, bro. I don't care. Shit. What do you mean by that? God of War can end right now, and I would lose no sleep. None. Mm. None. Oh, Plank was getting closer and closer to the camera. I think he was going to... Go through it. Mm. If they cancel <laughs> Ragnarok, I'll probably ride. First of all, mad. first of all, DJ, no, you're not. This you're not doing guy. that. I need Ragnarok. I need that. Mm -mm. No cap. I need that. Mm -mm. The lore about to be fire on that one. No cap. Mm. Bro, I want, I want Thor. I want, uh, I want to get his fuck. I want to get Mjolnir, bro. I want yeah. to see Fenrir. I want to. Well, that see... that's contingent on Loki growing up or being a little more grown. It's true. Well, <clears throat> Svenrir is Loki's son. Yeah, I know. But I still want to see Fenrir. Mm. Did you see a little baby, little baby werewolf? Um, Bro, weird. watch, watch, <laughs> fucking, watch. Uh, what's his face? Just pick, pick up a random wolf, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna call him Fenrir. And people are like, what? That'd be adorable. Be I wild. would, I would love that. I can actually see that. I would love that. Hockey. That would be so cute. He's just like, can I keep him? <laughs> what will you name him, boy? Boy. Fenrir. <laughs> that'd be, oh my God, that'd be adorable. Mm. Okay, so uh, the one other thing I wanted to talk about was, uh, I tweeted this out. Uh, well, I guess I retweeted this. Um, it's reported that developers from the teams of The Last of Us, Call of Duty, God of War, and Destiny have started a new studio called That's No Moon. Uh, they are backed with over $100 million of investment money. And the first project they're working on will be an action-adventure game. So, the that's right. The developers, the teams behind The Last of Us, Call of Duty, God of War, and Destiny. How do we feel about that? That's about uh, an uh, arcade ass shooter, bro. Yeah, that's what I <laughs> What do you mean? Like, I don't super so. arcade. I don't, I don't think it'd be arcade. I don't think it's gonna be arcade. I think, I think they. I think they have the the right people in place to like actually do something where it's like we if we not gonna get the game and be like what is, but this is true. Besides the Destiny <laughs> people, but that was kind of like I I put that on Activision, kind of. But that's just me. I, I mean, know. we didn't get the real real Destiny because uh. Half the story had to change, so yeah, that's yeah. a good reason. That wasn't that's that was an Activision though. That was Bungie. They they did that. Yeah. Oh, that's of course. Yep. <clears throat> they now we're getting the story uh, two years later or whatever. Two, three yeah, years the dude later. Who wrote it? Like they what, what was it? They wanted to push him out or something, and he was like, "Well, I'm taking my story with me." And they had to like MacGyver the story, like a few yeah. months before the game came out. Mm. Sir. Also, well, I gotta take back what I said about that. So I don't know now. I, I don't know. I, I mean, this game I could would, be good. I would like to see who from Destiny. I got you. It I is. got a list. I got a list right here. 
Boom. Hold on, I'm about to put this in the culture chat. I was just looking for who it was, and they got the CEO of... Let's see, the CEO is actually the Senior Director of Visual Arts for Sony, uh, specifically for Naughty Dog, and he worked on <laughs> Uncharted and The Last of Us. Um, the next one is... Is this nigga's name? Kuro, Taylor Kurosaki, formerly a design lead at Naughty Dog and studio narrative director for Infinity Ward. Then as, it, as you scroll down, Jacob Minkoff, who is the chief design officer and game director for what the fuck studio is this? Sony Santa Monica. Okay, so they took him. Former senior development director at EA, Tina Kowaleski. Oh, they got a woman. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys know how that is. So, uh, let me see. And many other similar veteran developers. Okay, I don't see... Let me just look for the word Destiny. Let's see. Is there anybody from Already Destiny or Activision? No. Nope. Okay. No Destiny, no Bungie either. All right. Well, I'm sure there's a list of... There's a full list somewhere. Um, if anything, they probably have it on their website too. But this is very interesting. They got a bunch of... A bunch of hitters, bro. This list is kind of thick. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> That's why I think we'll they actually... When we actually see we'll get whatever game it's going to get... I. Or whatever game we're gonna get, I think it's gonna be great. This is how I know I'm getting I old know. when I start caring about specific job titles of people who are designing video games before I make a decision. Because now that I look at all these specific people, and I look, I go and I look at their credentials, and I look at what games they worked on, I may not know the direct aspect of what they clicked on, what polygons they might have worked on, or anything else that they might have worked on. But I feel like in good faith I could back something like this. With a hundred dollar a hundred thousand oh with a hundred million dollar set of investments, bro, come on now. This 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 just feels like a win. It feels like a win. So I mean, but I mean on the other side of the argument they could just fumble fumble like this. Nah. It is possible, but Nah, man, I I believe they got this. They're under good leadership. I think, I think they do too, but it's 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 still possible that they just. So they're oh, anything is possible. Yeah. Popsicle. So their CEO, yes, his name is Michael Mumbauer, who uh, was the senior director of visual arts at Sony, right? So. I don't know what his leadership skills are like. I've never met this man. I don't know. Maybe he manages his teams well or anything like that, but. From this man's photo, he looks like he commands a room. And I really think he about to get some shit done, okay? He definitely got some big dick energy, man. This man's jaw is is chiseled, okay? He look like somebody that you don't want to have a conversation with when the budget is low. You see what I mean? Because he, mm. he seemed like he will personally pick you up and throw you out of the room. Like, this guy is just... Oh, he do. He really looked like he don't play no games. Yeah, he he really seemed like. Hold on, I'm about to show the the uh, his photo for the podcast for the is he video single? version of the podcast. He probably wow. is, but not for you. He kind of looks like a villain. Hey. Yeah, he does. I'm making a he tweet do. about he this. He straight now. up looked like a super villain. So I really think this man gonna have his shit together. You know. He gonna invite you to the room and give you that. So you wanna tell me what happened last week? Exactly, <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah. So what's going on with these deadlines, Jeffrey? <laughs> tell me about this. And I know no, you better not be nice. out here in the in the bullpen harassing women, okay? Because I, I told you two o'clock so and not you... a minute later. Mm -hmm. It is now two o four. That's your ass. Get your shit. Go to it's your cubicle. Over. Get the box. Get your box on pack the way out. Matter of fact, don't even pack your shit up. It's already outside. It's on the curb. It's on the curb. You know what? I could take this if it was actually good, <laughs> but you put some nonsense on my desk. So therefore, <laughs> call your wife and tell her she got to come and help you pack all this up. <laughs> and then you had the That's nerve. The then you had the nerve to come in here and look me dead in my eyes like I didn't know what you just did. <laughs> so, Whole boardroom <laughs> just looking at him like, now anybody else want to go with him? Sir, it is 8.04 in the morning and you are firing people. <laughs> We ain't even had our coffee yet. Ah, that reminds me. The coffee guy's replacing you. <laughs> the kid who brings the coffee every day. You mean the Postmates guy? <laughs> so, I'm He just excited. really spoke to me. Yeah. That's it. Because I know he wouldn't go. If he can deliver 
good video game products, as good as he delivers this coffee, of course he can have your fucking job. Get out of here, Jeffrey. I better not ever see you again in my entire fucking life. And if I see you at Trader Joe's next week, I'm slapping the shit out of you. I dare you. I can, I can literally see him saying all of this, bro. Like, just looking at his picture. I can see it. I can see it. Uh, you know you know who this man is? Uh, Mysterio. Oh, you think Ray he looks Mysterio? like Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal? Not Mysterio. Uh, not Ray Mysterio, no. Spider Man. <laughs> 619. Oh. You mean Craven? No, not, not 619. Not 619. No, not the dude with the, with the orb. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, that's Mysterio, man. man. That's, that's Mysterio. That's Mysterio. You think this man looks like Jake Gyllenhaal? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, I could see, I could see him playing a role. Bro, I'm even seeing this group photo, and he just, he just commands power in this room. He said, "I am the only one with my legs open in this photo." <laughs> that is it. This man said, "I am not worried about a single one of these motherfuckers in this room." They all look like they worried about getting fired. <laughs> what? <laughs> why is like, there look, like look a, why is there like a statue of the letter P? That's not what is that? the railing. That's, that's railing. Is that the railing? Oh, from Something like what I've seen, it just looks like yeah. the letter P. That's oh, like look, at, look at the dude it's hidden on the in the far back, left, bro. He like on his this. way out. He's holding a. P. This dude got the biggest smile on his face. He said, "I hope to God I'm not the first one getting fired out this bitch." He's the first one getting fired. Yeah. <laughs> he is looking at I that camera like, warning. "Please, oh Let wait, bro, look at the I, energy I this I, this man's face. He's just like, I am not worried about a single hey, fucking thing going on." Someone didn't get the dress room. code because he's really standing out. Oh, which one? The one with the like the blue light blue, or whatever shirt. That's CEO. This light, blue, light shirt. blue shirt, or whatever the color that is. The, the one in the front. Is the he one in the, in the back. Oh, in oh, the back. Guy. Oh, the one you that mean, stands out the, out of all of the one that looks like Jared colors. from Subway. I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going first. He's going first. <laughs> He's out of there. Bruh, yeah. Oh my Listen, God. you didn't read the dress code. I'm gonna have to let you go, man. You know yeah, exactly. You code. know what's interesting? I, I don't trust you doing video games. Why? I I have a question about this Asian guy in this picture. Why you got a leather jacket on and ripped jeans, bro? Why? My, my man's Asian. my man's is just he He's really is different, bro. He's the main character. He truly. This man said, "You know what? I'm gonna cosplay He's as Han." <laughs> he said, "I'm gonna cosplay as bro." You put a hand. I'm, I'm you put a pack of uh, snacks in that man's hand, and that's it. That, exactly. he's, that's it. That's him. That is him. He's a character everyone thinks is the main character. Why? And then they're disappointed that you never see him. All right, one more question. This dude all the way over here on the right, why does his chin not connect to his neck properly? What's going on here, bro? Yeah. What? What yeah, is that's this? That's a great question. That is an excellent that question. I'm confused. Question. This man's neck is gone. There's no depth here. I'm confused. Oh, my God. <laughs> so this man said, I'm wearing the same suit. Yes, sir. You can you can literally see like who is literally worried about their job security in this photo, just yeah. judging by like they 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 face. I'm looking at yeah, a lot of right them here, look like it. Han ain't worried about a thing. He wore ripped <laughs> jeans, Han said, a leather I don't jacket. He He's, ain't worried about. He, he, he said, "I wish they security. would fire me." Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You need me. He threatens them every week with, "What are you gonna do? Fire me?" <laughs> that is what he showed up like. Yo, what? Listen. I need to get this over with because I got something to do at 2 o'clock. He said, uh, yeah, that's right. I did drive my motorcycle into work today with no helmet on. Exactly. That is me. That is me said parked it was outside. casual Friday. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sir, it's Tuesday. Oh. So? Yeah, uh, you know, they both in them why. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> what what's you going to do, fire me? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would. I wish you would. I am the Asian quota in this office. All right? That's funny. So yeah, I'm I'm very excited, an action adventure shooting shooting game or some shit like that. I could buy with this. I could too, most definitely. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Oh my god, I looked at this other photo, and this man literally is doing the Captain Morgan pose, bro. He, Which one? Hold on, I'm about to throw it up on stream right now. He is literally doing the Captain Morgan. He got his leg Bro. up and everything. He said, that's right. I Bro. run this bitch. <laughs> Someone help the lady. She looks terrified. She looks uncomfortable. No, she looks like she's planning some planning a fucking hit. What are you talking about? Bro, she's probably evil. I'm not going to lie to you. She's probably evil. So... Aren't all women evil? Her, her energy is uh, the... What? It puts the uh -huh. lotion on the skin. 
Hold on, there were several things that I heard that was that was that was throwing me off. Hold up, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. I, I got, I can't see what you're saying. What? <laughs> what was that? Who? One. Ah, never mind. I guess I guess I was wrong. Did, was it Tony or Selena who said women are evil? Oh, I said, aren't me. women all evil? Yes, the answer is yes. And what did Tony say? I didn't hear him. I was too busy blinded. I, I was blinded. I didn't say nothing. Your misogyny is showing. Okay. Mm. Say you hate women. I don't hate care. Women. Specifically oh because of Selena. Mm. <laughs> That's a good reason to hate women. Uh, anyway. That's an accomplishment for me. Oh my. Hello? I'm, I'm writing it. So, if you guys saw, I know Plank did. I don't know about the rest of you. But there is a video in the culture chat that I put of uh, Peter McKinnon talking about uh, a new era of making videos online, right? And mm-hmm. so it's basically comparing YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, and TikTok. Now it's very interesting that all of these platforms are going more video based. I mean, obviously YouTube is is trying to catch up to the TikTok trend, uh, which I don't think they're doing a very good job. Do any of you guys use YouTube Shorts, by the way? Uh, I, I really. watch a few. Yeah, I watch a, a lot of them food related, but yeah. It's more like when I go on a car watching uh, spree, and then I click on a short, and then it goes down the rabbit hole from there. Yeah, it's just an accident for me. Like mm-hmm. I'll just click it, maybe I'll see it, and then I don't even know I'll how watch to get maybe a couple. That. Yeah, there's a section. It's usually on phones. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, I just click on it by accident. Like it's it's literally accident when I mm-hmm. watch one. Now, according to him, and he's done a a bit of research about this. A lot of the people that he's interacted with say that they don't even use Instagram's regular feed anymore and they only cycle through stories and then get off the app. Do you guys find that with, because a lot of it's also recycled TikTok content, which Instagram Mm -hmm. has, the CEO of Instagram straight out said, you know what, we don't fuck with TikTok. And any of that stuff we're gonna suppress on the the platform. If it's got the TikTok Mm. logo, we're absolutely not sharing it, which I understand. I wouldn't want somebody else's you know, uh, social media platform to, to even thrive at all on my platform. So, Mm. you know, uh, Oh, Selena's got to leave for work, by the way, guys. Um, bye Selena. We'll see you next time. Um, I personally don't really vibe with any of these apps like that. I don't really use YouTube shorts that crazy when I'm on Instagram. It's usually because I'm in on a depressive binge. And I'm sitting there like, how can I hurt my feelings today? Let me go look at some profiles I'm not supposed to. Oh and then, uh, yeah, sir, uh, that's that's a deep, that's a that's different like conversation the for me. Hmm. Like every when I go when I when I go into like TikTok, it's because I want to laugh. If I want to go to Twitter, or I mean, I'm not Twitter, uh, Instagram, I go in there like to watch uh, people build shit, like gun, like custom Gundams or custom uh, 40k figures, shit like that. And then, uh, that's it, actually, yeah. I go on TikTok specifically because I need a new OnlyFans to subscribe to. That's literally that's all TikTok is for for me, that's bro. Weird. How is that I, weird? I just go and just laugh. How is that weird? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Where else am I, I supposed to get my titties from? where you can. I, can? I, haven't, I don't think I've touched that realm of TikTok yet, because I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, Jay, Uh-oh. please. Oh. <laughs> Let me show you something. Hold on. Not like Uh-oh. this. Yes, Not sir. like this. Yes, sir. Let me show you some. So my TikTok feed is mostly uh, Apex videos, uh, Lil Nas appreciation videos, uh, booty and titty shaking videos, and maybe like some anime, some cosplay stuff. But literally everything in here, if it's not Apex, actually, yeah, if it's not Apex or titties, it really don't... Oh, I'm seeing a lot of Apex videos today. Hold on. Literally, just since I started scrolling, I've seen five Apex videos. Holy shit. My TikTok, is it, like, just stuff, like, comedy-related? Like, legit. Mm-mm. It's just stuff, like, from, from people that I think is funny. And then for, like, the For You thing, which I think they do a great job, because, like, all that stuff be catered to... They just be right up my alley. So, I ain't seen nothing on the For You page that's like, yo, why is this here? Um, I actually don't use TikTok at all, I, but I do watch YouTube Shorts. 
That's I'm trying to use TikTok more for like uh growth and uh low key has been working. Them views be going crazy. Have you but noticed yeah. uh any relative change to like your actual like YouTube sub count or views or Twitch or uh not like not yet, but I think I need to be more consistent with this in order to see it. Mm -hmm. Have you platforms. seen your analytics change at all? From what? Like on other platforms? Mm hmm No, I've just been trying to grow my TikTok first. And mm. then then try to try to get it on other platforms. So Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like I'm a little too old for this. There's just something about TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, it's just something about TikTok that's that's so separated from me that does not feel I don't know, it, it feels like I can't create content for it specifically. Um just because like when I go on the app, it's just I don't know, it's this weird feeling. Pure stupidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just seems like a lot of stuff is just very unpolished and stuff like that. And I came up in a in a time where creating a video, it had to be polished. That's how you know it was gonna be good. So I think that's a real hindrance for me, honestly. Uh, it's a different environment now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't I, to be honest with you, I don't vibe with it. I I, I mean, because most of the most of the people that are kids and stuff like that's what it's kept tailored to, and they like the I stuff think... that's like <clears throat> Like that dude said in that video, I think I think that kind of content can uh, can definitely uh, be good. Like TikTok is a great example. Of it. I think it's just can you uh, can you be flex and like be able to do that on top of doing like the videos that you usually do. That's a thing that like for older people that grew up on like old school YouTube, it's hard because like oh, Vine, like oh, Vine. Vine's also a good example, but that that died. Uh -huh. That hard. That was a different time period back then. Hell no. Nah. Even mm -hmm. then, like Vine was like super like problematic. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was just wild. Yeah. Because you had people just doing random videos in there, without any like production, and then you had people with production doing it. So, which one would you guys say you gravitate more towards? Like fully produced cinematic type videos where everything is edited very sleek nice title cards and stuff like that or ones where it's just kind of like thrown together like somebody just started and just hit record and just let it go hardly any edits mm -hmm. anything like that it just depends on like what i'm what i'm looking for at that current point in time i like that sometimes i kind of want to turn my brain off because how, that's how i found caleb caleb city mm. he was on vine it was pretty simple shit. It made me laugh a few times, and I just followed them ever since, you know? As long as I get what I came there for, pretty much I'm fine. Like, if I, if you give me what I what I came there for, I'm fine. In terms of, like, the content of a video. Uh, I was trying to see what you were talking about. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, man, I'm, I'm... I find it very weird that I'm trapped in this place of, like, how do I get this... I think... As a content creator, also, it, it's kind of just a shitty feeling to know that, like, you're the only thing, like, stopping you from making shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's really paralyzing because then I kind of get overwhelmed with, like, my thought process and trying to make stuff, like, look good and shit like that, which is why I don't put out, like, half the content I come up with ideas for. Like, not even half. Like, such a minuscule amount. Holy shit. And, um... Uh, you know, the more the more I try to do, the the less I actually get done, which is so fucking dumb. So, but you know, that's legit. I mean, it's what you said. You were overwhelming yourself with like you're you're literally overwhelmed with like your your thinking process and like the stuff that you're trying to do. All right. Well, I therefore you the just be like, you know what? I'm gonna just I'll do this another time, and then you just you go play Apex. This is true. Yeah, I just think true. it's the the pursuit for perfection that really fucks you up because like, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you think it's perfect. You're gonna find something later that you're not gonna like. Mm. So, trying to go for perfection doesn't even matter at the end of the day. I think you might not even think it's perfect later. Yeah, that could be the case for anything, man. You know. So, I say you just do it, see how it come out, and then put it up. And then see what people think. About Essentially, y'all are asking me to just throw the dick on the table and just let people take it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Well, that's what I've been doing. That's, that's an interesting I'm, way to put that. I'm about to continue to start doing. 
I'm doing it. I mean, that's, that's that's like the best way I can put it, to be honest with you. Like, just going in raw for a lot of stuff is just, it seemed like, all right, I guess that's, that's the way it's supposed to be. So That's the only way to go. Man. It's, it's weird because, like, in your mindset, you, you, you're acting like, like you have, like, a bunch of followers with your production, but you don't. So, like, that's, like, where, I, where it's weird for me. Hmm. Like, just make content. Just make content, people, smile. Because people want to yeah. see just whatever you do. Because they like you, not your content. Well, of. Really. Damn. Damn, that's I mean, how you, you feel? Gotta, you, you, gotta, you gotta have, like, a blend. Because you gotta bring new people in with the, con with the content itself. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it can be about you. Yeah, yeah well. That's how you grow. You can't just always be about yourself. Which, well, depends, I guess, like... it depends on, like, what you're actually doing. Anyway. Yeah, like, I think, I think Jay shines when he's doing uh, reactionary videos. See, you know what's interesting? Is I started to, I started to really sit and think back about when a great time, specifically for me. I don't know about y'all. Specifically for me, when I've had the most fun making content, that was always like, re unfortunately very really shitty videos, <laughs> and they got like, no views, no reactions whatsoever, like hardly any engagement. Then you'll just randomly throw something together. Like, have you guys noticed that you'll just randomly throw mm -hmm. something together, and then mm -hmm. you're like, all right, this is bullshit mm -hmm. video or whatever, just just to like reach an upload quota and shit, and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. it just like. Oh shit, the white has got a couple thousand views on it. What the fuck is this? So and it's this weird it's it's just it's just a strange situation to be a part of. So but that's why it took me a minute to get out of like beating myself up about the Assassin's Creed videos that I did, like way back when. Cause I legit was just recording that and just throwing it up just because I wanted to do it. And then I seen that stuff pop up and I was like, Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. And I think uh, there's there's a point to I think there's a point, and I'm getting close to it, where I want to draw a line specifically with like with creating content. Cause I was when I was in Arizona with the you know this girl I'm seeing right now. We went to go see her family, and um, and my brother lives out there also. Um, and you know what's funny? Her nephew, a kid's like fucking like 21, so it's super weird. Um, he, he was like, holy shit, like, I recognize you from, uh, from, like, this video with Heavenly Controller and, like, all this other stuff. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, that's weird. <laughs> and he was like, and the first thing he wanted to ask, he's like, uh, so are you making any more videos <laughs> with him? And I was like, I was like, uh, I don't know. That's a good question. That's a very, that's a very good question. <laughs> and know. I just, I just stood there and I looked him dead in, in his face and I was like, ah. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I had nothing for him. It was just a weirdest situation because he got real quiet for a minute and he was like He thought it was more to the story. Like, yeah. he was like I don't know, but he thought he thought there was gonna be more. I'll be like, I can't tell you nothing. Yeah. I'm, I'm under NDA. I can't say nothing. NDA. It happens, B. Mm-hmm. So He wanted to hit you with it. What you what you mean? What you mean? Mm -hmm. I know he did. But that was the first time where I was just like, damn. And, you know, as I was talking to him and um, my girl's brother, and they were like, like, nah, like, you should you should keep making videos and blah, 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 blah. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm going to give this the next 360 some odd days, man. I'm hanging the coat up. That's it. I'm tired. I'm tired you said that this. for like two years now. All right, you can eat my ass. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> yes, sir. It just so happens that every time I got ready to quit, I'm like, man, if I don't see X amount of growth in this amount of time, then all of a sudden, oh, there's growth. Can't quit now. And it's like just enough to be like, ah, I guess I'll keep going. I guess. Every six months, me and Jay have this conversation. No, we don't. Oh, hey, Plank, I think I'm about to quit. Oh. It's every I year. said, it's okay, every yeah, you going to quit? Months. Okay, Your expectations do not, meet, do not meet your, like, <laughs> your work. I... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Why the fuck are we talking about me so much? Why the you're fuck are you gonna do some because shit? Because we start because you started this conversation. You know what? Yeah, you're right. You know what? Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. <laughs> I was about to say because you brought it up. Like, let let me be quiet. You 
I was just trying to relate to somebody, okay? Damn. Jesus Christ. <laughs> somebody got to do something. Right. Never. Yeah, no, never. Absolutely never. My back hurt. So. Your back right. always hurt, old yeah, man. Yeah, my back is definitely hurting. So, anyway, this past weekend, <laughs> like I said, I took a trip to Arizona. I got to tell y'all something, man. Arizona is a horrible is fucking place. Is yep. this no like, cap. There are literally the stuff off my chest for sure. Yeah, there are literally three things to do in Arizona, and it's dig holes, sit in the heat, and cry in that order. Okay, I don't know what the fuck these people be doing for work out there. I don't know what these people just be just in the heat for no reason and just be okay with it. Like what the fuck? What Cali is ain't hot. this? Not it's Arizona only, hot. Not Arizona hot, but it's only 91 right now. It's like in the upper well, 90s lately. It can be Arizona hot if you're in the desert. But, I mean, why the fuck would you be in the desert? No, no, no. First of all, Arizona hot. I didn't realize Arizona was 120. Oh 120 degrees Fahrenheit, sir. I was, oh, my God. Then when I got back to Cali and it was 91 degrees outside, I was talking about, oh, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> I, my whole shit that got fucked up. I then came back and didn't realize, like, oh my god, that place is the devil's asshole. I I do not want to go back anytime soon, bro. I was like that when I went to Atlanta, man. Compared to Michigan, mm -mm. like, I bro, I call myself dressing for the weather, right? We go to the mall. It's cloudy. It's a little chilly. It's raining. I'm wearing a hoodie and sweatpants. Boy, we got out that mall, man. It was like Satan pulled up to the front of the mall, bro, and just just opened the gate. Just posted up. Yeah, just and just sat there. Like, I, I know you coming. I I got something for you, mm -mm. bro. Mm -mm. I was I'm sweating like crazy. I'm like, yo, we got we gotta we gotta get back to the house. Mm -mm. I'm, I'm about to pass out. I can't it just it, hit bro. me like that out of nowhere, man. I like it's just these places. You just never know what what these when you like a foreigner in the area, not a foreigner like cross country or whatever, or like out of out of country. But like when you ain't really been nowhere and you get hit by that, it's like yo, I don't think I ever want to go back. See, but I do want to go to Cali though. And, and I'm gonna tell you something, man. This has been the strange. Then my brother had the nerve to get on my ass about oh when you leave in L. A. Like, when you going to finally get up? First of all, shut up, bitch. Okay? Just because you could, don't have the mental dexterity to hand, to thug it out and figure some shit out until it works for you, don't mean that I'm leaving. Don't try to fucking push your out-of-state agenda on me when you sitting in 110-degree heat every single day talking about, damn, it's hot out here. Shut your bitch ass up. Okay? <laughs> it is a nice, breezy 77 degrees 90% of the year. Okay, I'm cool. I'm absolutely cool. Plus, plus, I found out that my youngest brother is having a child, which now means I am the only child that does not have kids. I thought, I thought he had a kid already. Mm -mm. No, that's my is other brother. One? That's my other brother. The youngest one now ha it has a child on the way. I thought he was the youngest one. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not he is the youngest one, thing. but my other brother also has a child. My older sister also has two children. So now my parents are looking at me like, oh, like somebody doesn't have their shit together. Well, my siblings also make very bad decisions because every time I talk to one of them, they'd be like, these goddamn kids. Every chance, <laughs> every chance they tell me to complain, they want to complain about their children. Well, you the, you the dumb motherfucker who had them. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So... I'm getting up there in age, and you know what? I don't got to check in with nobody. If I want us to not go into work tomorrow and just go on a trip and go somewhere, I can do that. Okay? There you go. They can't do that because they got to get some uh -uh. kids. Uh-uh. Who going to watch they your kids? They got to watch their kids. Uh -huh. exactly. No, yeah. They got to keep up with their bills. My rent just got paid. I'm cool for the rest of the month. I don't got to do shit. I'm not obligated to nobody. I don't got to check in with nobody. This is awesome. I'm living a life. You know? I'm cool. Okay. So, I personally have been really been enjoying this. My life is great right now. Am I slightly broke? Yes, because my bills are quite high. But I also get paid more. So, you know, there's there you that. Go. You know, 
and everywhere else just seemed like a tourist attraction to me because there's so many people are constantly coming here. I just live here. You trying to come to the roller coasters? I live where the roller coasters at. This shit normal to me. So, but uh, there you, go. you know, fuck your shit. Is it a lot of action? Like I would imagine, it's, what a, you mean? it's a bunch of action in LA. Ninety oh, percent of the action is traffic. That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. He's not wrong. He's not wrong, but he's not right. I what would you, be so. Aggravated. What you mean by action? Sitting in sitting in traffic. Like, what you mean by action? Action like like a lot a lot of stuff to do. People always doing something. Like there's always something going on. Yes. Yes. I say like yes what? with a question mark because it depends on where you go. Give me an example. Um. So it's a very very big city. So there's always something to do. Like, there are districts in the city that don't believe COVID exists. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I there, can see are, that. there are districts in the city that literally have nothing to do except for party. There's also districts in the city right next door to each other where it's an entire homeless community and rent is still $3,000 for a single bedroom. Mm-hmm. Now, I see your face. I see the face that you're making. This is the most extreme example, okay? You just have to be savvy enough to find a place that's in the middle. So my, my itty-bitty-ass apartment, right? We'll take that for an example. I pay $1,000 to live here. You know why I pay $1,000 to live here? Because with the same $1,000, I could actually live somewhere nicer, but my credit is all fucked up. That's why. Mm. So if you got fucked up credit... Which the credit system is stupid in America anyways. The dumbest shit I ever heard of in my fucking entire life. But anyway, whatever. If you live in like the Valley or you live in fucking West LA or something like that, it's a completely different demographic of people that you run into, things to do, all sorts of stuff everywhere. Your price range is also different. So I live in K-Town. I live in the middle between Mid-City, which is like bumping. You know, it's like very residential. I guess you could say, and downtown LA. Mm. And so, like, right in the middle there, there's some spots that are crazy expensive. And then other ones that are just like, oh, no, it's just cool. Just a cool grand, you know, no big deal. But there's also, uh, I, what I need to explain to a lot of people <laughs> is living here is different because our wages are also different. So, whereas, like, somebody will get paid, you know, $10 an hour somewhere, $10 an hour ain't going to get you nothing here. Absolutely nothing. But there's not a single job here that pays you less than that. So everything starts at like a specific minimum. And I think mm. right now it's like 14 something. And most jobs will just round it up to 15 anyway, which is like the lowest. And you can pretty much afford to live if, if you budget properly, don't have no kids, don't do no dumb shit, you know? That's just you taking care of you. That's just you taking care of you. Yeah. So I imagine in a in an ideal situation, you would have another person there, you know, like a significant other or maybe like a roommate or something. Mm. And then that kind of gives you a little bit of a leg up. Now, the problem with this is, is a lot of people don't believe LA is a transfer, what I call a transfer city. So basically, you come here to do your business and then you leave. That's what you're supposed to do. Because coming here and staying here, you will get stuck in this rotating loop of constantly having to work, 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 work all the fucking time. Even if you try to come in here. Yeah, even you if you come in. It, yeah. Exactly. Even if you come in here to be famous. And I try to tell people all the time, it's better to be a big fish in a little pond and then come here. So if you're in like, you know, the Midwest or something like that and you're looking for acting or music, you know, stuff like that, you can go to Atlanta. You can go to Houston. You can go to, I wouldn't go to New York, but if you come out to LA, you got to come out here with a purpose and like set to that purpose and to that goal every single day until you reach to a certain point where you can like turn around and look back and like you, you can chill. You can chill for a little bit because there's no chill in here. You don't need to. Everybody's constantly working and that's the best part. If you're not mentally set for that to where you're working all the time and that's what you enjoy, then you're going to have a bad time here. 
It's just that's that simple. Julio, uh, Julio, the, one of my friends we bought on the podcast a while ago, he started in Ohio. And, like, it, it ain't nothing in mm. Ohio. Like, it's nothing. Right. So, he, what he did was he, like, he like had 100 bucks. He packed all his stuff up and went to Atlanta. Mm. And now he got a whole career made out of himself doing film. Yeah, so. there you go. Atlanta's popping right now, too. So, mm-hmm. they building studios all over the place. And that's, that's essentially Black Hollywood. So, yeah. you know, if that's what you want to be a part of, then cool. But, you know, I've lived here my entire life. It's, I don't plan on leaving. It's not happening. So, even a girl I'm talking to, she's like, oh, yeah, you know, she wants a house in the valley and blah, blah, blah. No, bitch. <laughs> not me. I'm aiming for a high rise, okay, that I don't own. And now I pay six grand in rent for it. That's what I'm aiming for. Because can't nobody tell me shit. If I'm paying six grand in rent and I go to my little studio or whatever, and I'm able to see <clears throat> Skyline, that's what I want. That's what I desire. Everybody else, if you want to be closer to the ground, you could do that. That's not me. I'm cool. And I'm afraid of heights. I'll be on the balcony for no fucking reason. Sometimes you just need to be butt naked on that balcony. Yes, sir. Sometimes you just need that. Yes, sir. That's the confidence you need. There's sometimes. something about a. There's something about you know your ego that's just <laughs> that just changes. There's just something that changes, bro. Mentally untouchable. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That would that would not be good for me. Hey man, it's all right. And I, you know what's interesting is I realized this. When I went to, uh, so when I used to do product placement for TV and film a couple of years ago, uh, before the pandemic, uh, we went on a, yo, this is the first time I had gone to Vegas as an adult, like a fully fledged adult. And uh, we went for a company trip. We went to Vegas, bro. I was fucked up from the time I stepped foot off the plane <laughs> for four <laughs> straight days, bro. I was drunk off my ass, bruh. This was the funnest fucking trip. Because I didn't pay for nothing. I didn't pay for anything. Everything was on the company card. And so I had a suite. Everybody got suites in Caesar's Palace, bro. Man, you walk in that room and you step down the marble steps. And you see how big the bed is and the balcony. And you got the fucking jet pool bathtub. I said, you know what? I get used to this. This is it. And that's what I... When I stepped out onto that balcony... I knew, I knew exactly what I needed to do. I knew I had to have this. Start the only on a, fans. On a, on a, on a yes, regular, sir. Bro, if I have to, on a regular fucking basis, because I could not imagine not living like that. I could not imagine tr- at least trying to earn that. And I knew mm-hmm. that that's where my place was. Because I had never been so comfortable in a space that didn't even belong to me. That it was temporary. Like, I felt... I felt very secure. Even though I pay for my own rent here now, bro, I don't... The fuck? Like, I could definitely see myself in a in a completely different position with a completely different mindset in a different location. Which is why I'm constantly, like, cleaning my house and stuff like that. Because your mindset is, your, is what your space is. Depending on what your space looks like, if it's cluttered, your mind is going to be cluttered. If it's clean and easy to navigate and you know where stuff is, your brain is going to operate the same way. So there was something different about being on this vacation. And every time I take a vacation, I always get a nice hotel room. I could never imagine just like have it, not having a key card, bro. What the yeah. fuck? Hell nah. I can't stay. You ain't going to stay in the motel. Bruh, I can't, vacation, I can't stay know. nowhere. I'm bougie. I can't stay nowhere where the hotel doesn't have a card key. I can't. I can't. Mm-mm. Just I can't. for personal security. I I don't think people are after me like that, but I don't want a motherfucker being able to get on this elevator without a car key. Okay? That's it. That's well, it. What about your door dash? Uh, your Postmates. What if you order something? Leave, they go to the front leave, door. It, leave it in the lobby. Leave it in the lobby. And right besides, front door. honestly, honestly, being in positions where I do have access to more money, like this past weekend, my girl wanted to, she wanted to door dash and Postmates some stuff. I said, girl, we got money. We're not worried about that. Let's go ahead and drive. What we need to pay a Postmates p- person for? Fuck it. We already. Got- I'll be looking at the like the the, uh, the, not, the bill not... or whatever, and then you see how much it really be, just to have them come bring it to you. Like you see it, the order of the food, and how much the food is. But then you see how much it is 
for, just for them to bring it to you. It's mm -hmm. like, no, nah, I'm gonna go get this myself. It's it's not that serious. Plus, now that you have a different level of access to money, you look at it differently. That's why whenever I go to restaurants and whenever I go somewhere and I pay for like food and have a bad time, I'm upset because I have to tip. Mm. I'm upset because you ruined my experience at this restaurant that I worked my actual time. And I had to explain this to a homie of mine. When you're working a, a job where you're trading your time for money, you're losing more than just time. You're losing pieces of your sanity, your mental health, your stability, all of that shit, you know? So you're not just giving up time in replacement for food, essentially. So now you disrespecting my time by giving me bad service and my food is shitty? Dog, you must be about your rabbit ass mind. I'm gonna fight you in the parking lot. Let's go, Greg. Let's go, Greg. Put your fucking hands up, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm paying for this shit. You must be you must be about your rabbit ass mind. Hell no. It's the worst thing when the customer service is bad and the food is nasty. And then because I'm black, I feel like I got a tip. That's the worst, bro. You want me to give you gratuity? Bitch, my my water has been empty since I walked in this motherfucker. I ain't giving you shit. But do I do it? Yes. Of course I do. I set aside the extra money just so that way I can tip because these people need to eat because they get paid like two fifty an hour. They rely on the tips. So I'm like, you know what? It's cool. If I got the bread, I'm going to go ahead and spend a little bit of it. But that's why I don't like to go out and eat anymore. This shit is just unsatisfying to me. I so. just go to Texas Row House. Hey, I when it works, away from Texas Row when it works, it works, man. They treat you right. The food is good. Man, that, that garlic shrimp mm. in those states, boy, let me tell you. Oh, boy. But, yeah, see, having access to money, you realize that money is really just a tool. And when you when you have it, you can utilize it more often. It's not even for nice things or anything like that, um, unless you want it to be. But it also puts you in positions to where you can do things for other people or you can utilize it in different creative ways to help other people or even to help yourself creatively so that way it puts you in a better space you know mm -hmm. so so that shit is important it's very interesting because uh, i was talking to my therapist about this a couple weeks ago and um i was telling him more about my parents and stuff like that and how they romanticize money and how that has trickled down to my siblings and so my siblings see money as like oh i gotta have it i gotta have it i gotta have it because i don't know what i'm not gonna have it i don't treat money the same way Money is just kind of like, you know, it, it comes and it it's goes. Yeah, it's just there. Like, if I got it, I got it. If I don't, I don't. But I equate more of my time, which is funny because none of my siblings are ever fucking on time. Mm. <laughs> because it's just, so, it's just so weird to them. Like, I told my brother meet me up at 2.30 when we were in Arizona. Why does motherfucker show up at 4 o'clock? Huh? <laughs> Text me at 3.35 talking about I'll be there in five minutes. Nigga, what? CPT. Why CPT. you didn't just tell me? You... And then when I asked him, when he got there, I was like, why you didn't just tell me you were just leaving the house at 3.30? Oh, well, you know, there was a detour and I didn't expect the freeway to be closed and blah, 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 blah. I pulled it up on Google. I said, this thing don't say nothing about no closure. That's interesting because we took the same freeway to get in that you did. So I guess they must have closed it right after we had drove through there. That's weird. That's weird. So, you know, it's just it's just fucking strange, man. And and so the time is money. Time is indeed money because it's a hard lesson. Especially when you got a six and a half hour drive back to LA. I said, brother, it's 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 going on four o'clock. We leaving at four thirty. Oh man, y'all just got here. We y'all who that's the standard thing for people to say, bro. Oh, no, Negro. Like, you, you leave him, but you oh, not here. Nah, yeah. bro. We, nah. We've been here a minute. You just, you just got here. Yeah, you just got here. Yeah. Mm. So we just about to get out of here. So. Yes, sir. And, you know, it's, it's, it's so interesting because the way I see some people's philosophy on life, it just feels as backwards to me. But I got to be quiet. You know what I mean? I got to be quiet in some certain some circumstances, especially with my siblings, because they're very much like me and my father, where they're just combative for no fucking reason. Mm. Just to... Because, mm. like, I told him, I was like, bro, all you had to do was communicate. And he pulls up his phone and goes, but look, I texted you and you didn't text me back for 15 minutes and blah, 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 blah. I said, brother, read the fucking text message because context matters. And he goes, what do you mean context matters? If I tell you, hey, we meeting up tomorrow at 2.30 
right? And then mm-hmm. at 10 o'clock in the morning, I text you, hey, just a reminder, I'm meeting you up at 2, 2.30, right? And you confirm. Mm-hmm. It don't matter if 19 and a half hours pass. I told you, meet me at 2.30. The time didn't change yeah. just because we yeah. didn't text. And he's like, you didn't text me back for four hours. What the fuck did I tell you four hours ago? Meet me at 2.30, bitch nigga. The fuck you think that mean? <laughs> meet me on the moon? Like, what the fuck? I don't understand. Well, you know, I just said, just said. And all of my siblings are like that. And, bro, I swear to my dad is like that. And, bro, I can't wait to tell my therapist on Friday. I'll be like, you never. Michael, you never going to believe what this nigga did. I, I told this nigga an accurate time two days in a row. Be here at a specific time. And what he do? Show up at 4 o'clock. Bitch ass. Damn, that's so, crazy. Yeah. So He anyway. said, damn, that's crazy. If I, if I, tell, you, if I tell you something, like we going to be somewhere, and then that time come around, and I don't hear from you, it, it's over with. Like, See, I'm just, I'm just... I would have said the same thing. If I didn't just previously get off the phone with my dad, and he explicitly told me, don't you dare. Leave the fucking state of Arizona without seeing your brother. I said, what? Do not leave the state of Arizona without seeing your brother. I was like... I didn't take that as a challenge. Be like, okay. I wanted to. I really did. I really did. Because what was he going to do over the phone? <laughs> Bitch, nigga. <laughs> I'll leave this motherfucker right now. I'll be like, oh, it's a monsoon coming. In Arizona? Yes, nigga. It's a monsoon coming. <laughs> I got to go. And it was just some bullshit. So, you know what? Now I know. Whenever I go somewhere to visit somebody else, y'all motherfuckers gonna do shit on my time. Not the other way around. Because the girl I was with, she tried to do that with her her brother who lives in like, you know, like 30 minutes outside of uh, outside of Phoenix. And he's one of those, um, what do you call it? It's up to you type of people. Mm-hmm. And I really don't fuck with people like that. Where you be like, hey, you want to go get something to eat? Oh, well, it's up to you. Hey, you want to pay for this? Ah, oh, it's up to you. Like, what do you think is a good time to see the movie? Oh, it's up to you. Then when I tell you something, you be like, nah, that's not it. I can't stand it. What do you want to eat? It's up to you. Man. How about Chick-fil-A? Nah, it. man, I don't really like Chick-fil-A. Oh, so you did know what you wanted to eat. You just got me beating around. I, can, I do not want to be beating around the bush with no grown-ass man, bro. Say what the fuck you want to say. You that shit is. If a, I ask you a question, I expect the straightforward. Bruh, especially when you don't got a reason to beat around the bush. I asked my yeah. brother. I asked my brother. I shit y'all not. This is the most annoying shit. I told him, "Hey man, I'm gonna be in Arizona on Thursday. Hey man, I'm gonna be in Arizona this weekend. Are you available Saturday, Saturday or Sunday?" He goes, "Well, I think I got work, so I'm not really sure." I'm like, "Okay, just confirm with me what days you working." All the Thursday goes by, I don't hear from him. Friday, I'm like, hey, man, listen, I'm letting you know I'm going to be in Arizona this weekend, okay, Saturday or Sunday. And he goes, well, you know, I'm, I'm really not sure yet, and then I got to check with my girl. You got to check with your girl. To see family? <laughs> I'm already what? thinking shit is shifty. So I'm like, all right, well, these are the plans that we have set for Saturday. And I make the plans. Because I'm absolute. Nobody moves me in my plans. When I set something, if it's not available, it's not available. It is what it is. You don't, you don't want to be sitting there like, what you want to do? And he'd be like, it's up to you. Not on a vacation, especially when I could be up in the hotel room just chilling in the bathtub with the fucking jets going. Hell no. Yeah. The fuck yeah. I look like? I came to this bitch to relax, not drive around in 120 <laughs> degree weather. The fuck I look like? Okay. So, you know, Saturday comes along. Hey, man, you know, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to be in this city. So, you know, and then we're doing this in Phoenix and blah, 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 blah. Where do you live at? Man goes, oh, well, you know, I don't live. I don't live in Phoenix no more. So why you tell me you live in Phoenix? So where do you, where do you live? And he goes, well, you know, I live out in the sticks. Where the fuck is that? Where is that? Where is that? <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm like, all right, well, this is the city I'm going to be in. And he's like, are you sure? <laughs> well, sir, sir, I'm currently in this city, so I think I would know. So I send him a Google screen, a Google image screenshot, and I sit, I send it, and he's like, "Oh shit, you are here, bruh." Bro, so, what's the point in lying? Like, why would then, I lie? I gain nothing. Yeah, and then I was like, "So, what city do you live in?" He tells me the name of the city I'm already in. 
<laughs> so you mean to tell me you live in the same city I just sent you Wait, the screenshot about, for? Talk about, about after you seen the Google image. After oh, you saw the Google there. image. Oh, after my town. <laughs> Yo, I live here, bro. Yo, how'd you know Yo. I live here? That, you so, know, that's not like, oh, you ain't telling me you was here. Like, I, I knew you was, was here, here but, but I didn't you, know you was here. You I didn't know you was, like, here, here, know you was like, in here, in here. Right. You right. know, and so he's telling Start me. getting mad at you. Honestly, this yeah, is your fault. Bro, he really did. And so I was like, okay, you know, we can visit you today on Saturday because we're in the same city and stuff like that. But tell me why I don't hear nothing from him the rest of the fucking day. Bro, like at that point, I would have been like, you know what, Dad? I tried. I tried. See, I did that. I, just, I, 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 I just called my dad. I called my dad. I said, Joe's son is tripping. This nigga, <laughs> he must have something to do. And you, you know what my dad said? He also gave me the fucking run around. He said, well, well, you know, your brother got stuff going on, and his girlfriend is really sick right now, and, you know, she can't really do so why nothing. He just tell you that himself. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to get to the best part. He goes, well, you know, Jay, I can't really, I don't tell nobody. Meanwhile, he's on speakerphone. Oh, no. He said, don't tell nobody this. Like, it's a big secret. I'm thinking she got COVID. I'm thinking she got the HIV. I'm thinking she got something <clears throat> massive, contagious, some STD with an H in it. You know what I mean? I'm thinking it's, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Ah, all over the place. Like, she's shooting venom out of her mouth. You got a self quarantine. Zone. Yeah, exactly. This motherfucker had the nerve to tell me, well, they thinking about getting pregnant. They? So I'm like, so is she expecting or is she not expecting? And second of all, why is this a secret? Why is this? <laughs> why? Why is it so bad to where she's now immobile? She been pregnant for what? Two weeks and she's immobile. 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 I'm just like. Ah! I'm gonna ha I'm about to have a brain aneurysm, right? And so that's when he tells me. That's when he hits me with the "Don't leave the state of Arizona without seeing your brother." I said, "I'm gonna make this easy. I pick a place. I tell him a time on Sunday. This is all I have time for." So we go and we hang out with my girl's family and stuff like that. Bomb food whole time. House dirty though, but it's cool. We played Damn. Monopoly. Your boy is is not getting bans. All right, it was already a bad night, but it was a good time. We were sipping on the Migos, bro. I brought the state of of Arizona some Casamigos because we could not find that shit in the state of Arizona. We had to smuggle it from California, sir. And so, it was a good time. Sunday come along. I'm checking in with my brother. Hey, man, you know, this the city, blah, 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 blah. We're supposed to meet up. This motherfucker chooses a damn near a Chuck E. Cheese to meet up at. Now, That's first weird. of all, yeah, so. Is this, is this a drug interaction, this, bro? This facility in Arizona was basically trapped in 1999. These motherfuckers had a bowling alley, a fucking uh, coffee shop. A concession stand that wasn't part of the of the movie theater, a laser tag, and then they were building mini golf behind the building. And I'm like, yo, Arizona really dead. They really ain't got nothing out here. They gotta fit everything in the same fucking building. It's not like y'all don't got dirt out here. So I'm confused. So we show up 215. I'm texting him. Hey man, I'm a few minutes away. Just wanna let you know we still meeting at 230 doesn't confirm mm -hmm. 230 comes along hey man i just want to know what's your eta oh man i'm like 10 minutes from the and then this whole thing transpires i have never been so disrespected in my fucking life bro by my own family and see this is why you just can't take everybody with you bro not everybody's gonna be on the same time and same wavelength as you so you know you know who does that my mom my mom i have family in canada right mm-hmm it takes us like an hour to get to Canada. My mom gives my uncle a time. Yo, we're going to be there at like, let's say 2 o'clock, 2.30. We're going to be there, right? Mm. I get my shower, everything. I'm ready by 12 mm -hmm. to leave the house. It's because we can get there at 1 o'clock right. if we leave at 12. Right. She don't be ready until 2.30. <laughs> we not leaving the house until 2.30. My uncle calling my mom like, yo. Where you at? Oh, oh, you know, we we uh we just 15 minutes away. She looking over at me in the seat like, be quiet. What? Why is this a secret? Y you see the time. It's, it's just, just tell the nigga you just there. left. Just, just tell, exactly. Just, just say we just left the house. 
Why? What is it? What is he gonna do? What are he gonna? He gonna get mad? He'll be like, "Fuck it, don't come." Click. Exactly. Exactly. Then don't come. We all. <laughs> we are already en route. We are en route. And you talk about so we fifteen minutes from his house? That's across the border. <laughs> Bitch, it take fifteen what is minutes wrong with to get. You? It take fifteen minutes to get through the border. <laughs> like, it take fifteen weird. minutes to get across the bridge. <laughs> And you talk about some we 15 minutes from the crib. All the babies looking around like where 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 auntie at? I'm just like oh. I, Then we come through the door. They just looking at me. I'm like, hey dog, look at her. She, she drove. drove. She drove. So she weird. drove. She drove. It's so weird because like my mom used to do the same thing until until like cause she, she would always be late because she would always like it's typical Hispanic shit. Like, oh yeah, Hispanics late. Oh whatever. But this is one day she was getting real fucking mad. Like, oh we're fucking late. I'm like, well it's your fault. Like we were waiting for you. And she's like, we kids, we can't drive the car. She's driving. Bruh. She's all stressed out. She's like, I'm tired of being late. And I'm like, why are you You're stressed out? She goes, I'm I'm, like, I can't tell you how out? many times I've heard that speech, yo. No, I tell she her, like, why out the house. Out? Come on, we gotta go. She we goes, gotta go. She goes, well because I'm tired of being late. And I'm like, you're already late. Like, what's the point in fucking? Being mad. Now you want to start rushing. She, she looked at me. You're not gonna like, get there any me. faster by yelling at me. Bro, that's for sure. She she stopped the car and she was like, "You're right." And I'm like, "Yeah, there's no point. You were already late. Might as well just chill." And she was like, "Huh?" And that was the last day I ever heard her like be mad in the car. If you we know what's late. funny? I have the exact same story, except it goes a different way. My mom stopped the car. And proceeded to beat my ass. <laughs> and you I'm know what? Sure. That was the last day I questioned my mother being on time. <laughs> hey, listen, you man. know, see, my mom is like, she be scaring me when she driving, too. Because she legit one of those, like, <laughs> I'm going to do everything while I'm driving. Like, she she legit, she fixing the mirror, putting her makeup on. Like, she, so she's she doing, doing her nails. She doing saying. her nails while she driving. Mm -hmm. You ever Probably. you ever been driving with somebody and then you see the back of the car and you like you expect your car to slow down but it don't and then it get like real <laughs> That's close. That's how my girl drives. That's exactly it, how my you, girl it drives. It get real bro. close and then it stop and you like sweet Jesus. I just that was almost my time. I no, thought I was gonna beat you. No. I stopped I, bracing myself. No. I take the seatbelt off. I said this is what we doing. He said this is what we doing. All right, Lord, I'm on the way. Said, I don't, don't want to take the seatbelt off because that might be it for me. I'm like, ready, if, if she's I'm ready for that to be it for me. Hard, me. I'm going right through that wheelchair. I'm mm -hmm. going. I'm going. I'll be ready. Thing I hate, right, is when we set a time for us to leave, right? We leaving at, say, what, 2 p.m. We leaving at 2 p.m. for whatever. A 2 p.m. is just a great commute time, by the way, obviously. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's just it's a great yeah. time. It's actually a great time. Right? 2 p.m. 2.30, not ready. I'm I'm ready. Everyone else is ready. They in the back getting ready. I'm like, why tell us to come and get ready at 2 if we're not all going to be ready and leave the house at 2? Mm. I'm here like, all right, why y'all taking so long? And then why are you rushing me? I'm like, you said 2. Why are we not leaving? See, you so ain't seen nothing I, I until you see your mom rush. Right, and say, Come on, we gotta go. And she rushing everything, her heels clicking around all on the floor, like, like it's some type of rabbit beast. She telling you, put and your then she shoes go on. past the front door. No, I already got my stuff on. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on the couch waiting on her. She go past the front door while she rushing, and I'm just watching her go past the front door into the kitchen and make a coffee. I thought we had See, to go. My, my I thought we was in a hurry. I, I thought we was in a hurry, but my, you gonna go make your coffee. <laughs> my favorite part is the fact that like I'll I'll not have shoes but I'll be ready. Like I just need to put shoes on. And she'll be like, We're late because he didn't he didn't See, get ready. I'm like This is why we running late because you don't have your shoes on. I was I, I looked at my I looked at my aunt and I was like, No no ma'am. I was ready. I just had to put shoes on, which takes not even a minute. And I looked at my aunt and she's gonna go, She put on makeup, more makeup, fixed her hair, did coffee, drank the coffee, made another coffee. And then had the audacity to tell me why you're not ready, and I was just looking at her like, "No, don't, don't do that." See, don't this do that. Is, I remember this like the first time I went to a funeral, and like my dad already knows he he don't even <clears throat> put his suits and stuff on until he know for sure that she close to getting ready. 
So oh, like, I thought I'm you was gonna say he don't put a suit on until they confirm no, no, no. the ground. I was about to say, <laughs> no, 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 He no, said, no, no. he said the service just started. All right, I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, I go past the couch or whatever. He's sitting on the couch watching the game. I'm like, I thought, I ain't th- we going to the funeral? Like, what you you ain't ready yet? He like, oh, I ain't finna sit around here and mess my suit up waiting on her. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. I respect it. I know this feeling so well. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Nah. That's, that's, see, this is what I've learned, man. This is absolutely what I learned from now on. When I, when I go and visit people, I give you a specific time. If you there, you there. If you not there, I don't know what to tell you. It is what it is. <laughs> I make the rules. Clearly, I have to be a very dominant force everywhere we go. Because I was, I was even having a conversation with my girl's mom. And she was like, well, she should go see her uncle and da 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 I was like, did he reserve a space? No, he did not. We're leaving on Sunday. Why are you telling us 10 a.m. on Sunday she got to go see her uncle? Her uncle should have got, her uncle should have set an appointment like everybody else. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Bitch, we are leaving today. We have two hour increments in between each activity. Uncle wasn't part of that. Then her <laughs> uncle called her on the phone, gaslighting her, thinking I'm not in the car. Like, I ain't going to say nothing. Like, I'm pussy or something. And he's just like, oh, well, you know, I'm sick. And, you know, you never know when it might be the, like, you know, with COVID. And you never know when it might be the last time you see your family and blah, 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 blah. Man. I said, well, I guess if this is your time, this is your time. And he goes, oh. <laughs> he goes, who is that? Who is that? I said it's 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 the dude driving the car today, and you're not on a schedule, so we can't really we can't really make time for you, Chief. He goes, well, <laughs> she should be able to see her family and blah 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 blah. She should, but her family should be more considerate of her time. So we got stuff to do. So either you can bicker with me over the phone, or we can get off, and you can wait until next time. <laughs> well, you know, I'm thinking about moving and da da da. I was like, this sounds like information you need to give somebody who cares. <laughs> yeah. and, and she's just looking at me like. And so she, we get off the phone, and bro, what are what you gonna do? What the fuck he gonna do? I don't know this nigga. The fuck? Shit. I mean, and, he said he's sick. He's sick so he anyway. Like yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, about what the fuck anyway. I look like? What the fuck I look like coming over to some? And and the worst part, the worst part, she actually considered driving out to his house, right? But when she talked to her brother about going, he was like, "You do not want to go over there." They don't have roads in that part of town. And she has a new car. She has oh, a 2018 man. Dodge Challenger with the Hemi, Mm-mm. my boy. Oh, with the my Hemi. God. Sir, she let me. That First rolled, of all, that rolled time a out. that car. Time out, time out, time out. For a second here. On the way back, bro, you know I was hitting 120, bro. I was, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that, that motherfucking bro. car is a monster. Allegedly, anyway, allegedly, 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 allegedly. allegedly. I mean, <laughs> listen, they wouldn't go stop me. They seen how far, man, they said, that's Vin Diesel oh. right there. Mm-mm, uh-uh, that little. <laughs> he said he moving. Oh, hold on. <laughs> At a certain speed, they don't chase you. That. That's it. For what? Is there even any police in the desert? Yes. Like, You'd there be surprised. Is? Yes, yes. That is how. What they driving? ATVs? I, no, bro. They drive. They driving chargers. Chargers in bro. the desert. Yes, sir. They got the. Oh, mother- they don't care about bro, life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How they getting home? Bro? They really got black yes. Air Force energy in Arizona. I'm telling you, these cops are different. <laughs> bro, bro, you hit a wrong turn in that desert. It's a wrap. For, for some reason, I don't know it's why over. the police force there be driving Hellcats. That shit is weird to me, dog. <laughs> like it's really. Oh, excuse me. Well, whatever. It's oh, up there now. Oh. Yeah, it's falling over. Uh, anyway. What else would you do? Shit, if I know. Like, but anyway. probably the fun for them. So, I'm telling her, you know what? You can't have people impose their time on you. And this is really inconsiderate. And she's like, yeah, but now I have to hear my mom. I'll be like, no. Put it on me. What's your mom going to do? Yell at me? I made the specific schedule. I said where we can and can't go. We don't have time. We don't have time. We got to get back to L.A. at this specific time. Going to do a 20-minute detour in the dirt so you can get your car oh, stuck in the mud? Bitch, if you don't get your ass in the car, what you're playing mud? too far. Bro, you said it was 120 degrees. Or what, what? No, no, no. Here's the thing. It was it was thunderstorming when we drove into Arizona for some reason. It was 100 plus degrees during a fucking lightning storm. Bro, there was water falling from the sky and evaporating before it hit the ground. 
I don't know how scientifically this works, but it was the weirdest shit I ever seen in my life. <laughs> Florida like that. So, you know what? I ain't never going back to Arizona, and if I do, I'm getting one of them big ass suites. Your family coming here? They coming to visit us? So. <laughs> I'm not just stepped outside. It looked like it's raining, but I ain't, I ain't wet. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not wet. I'm, not, <laughs> just, I'm still dry. I don't understand. <laughs> frolicking well, and shit. Roads are still dry. Uh, <laughs> frolicking and shit. Can literally crack an egg on the concrete and just like fry it up <laughs> right there. Still, so you know, man. I just I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned about a lot about the lady I'm with. I've learned a lot about her family, and I've also learned how to carry myself in specific situations because just because everybody loves me, you're not going to double-cross me, bro. That's for sure. You're not going to do none of that shit. If you not take a, your kindness for weakness. Bro, bro. if you're not, just because I be with the hee-hee-ha-ha -ha jokes and shit don't mean that I'm not going to tell you to go fuck yourself. That's for sure. Because you're not going to fuck with my time because I don't live here. You do. You got to be the one stuck in the dirt. I'm taking my ass back home. So, bro. I'm just he said saying. there's roads here. Yeah, there's not only paved roads here, but they filled with homeless people. And let me tell you something. They are quite far more entertaining than your entire state. Okay? So, let me get some change, my boy. Let me my get boy, some, change, some change, my nigga. Oh, you gonna do your boy like that? Nigga, I don't even know you. What the <laughs> hell? What you They be mean? looking at all the stuff you done bought coming out the grocery store or the liquor store, mm -hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought you ain't had no money. I see you got that on you. I thought you ain't had no money. I don't have money. You know I take Venmo. For you. <laughs> I take cash out. I take, Vin I take Venmo. You. Oh, the homeless different out here, bro. They got Venmo and cash out for your ass. <clears throat> you fuck with the PayPal? Oh, no. Nah. PayPal? Man, listen. What? Homeless different. Homeless said, living. The internet is free, my boy. The, the, internet, internet, is the internet is free. You go to the library once. Next thing you know, I got three checking accounts. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. So... But that's all I got for that. That's my story for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Arizona is a beautiful place. No, it's not. Arizona is not. literally the devil's coochie, bro. Oh, it's good. Okay. Yeah. It's, Try it's, it's, it's... You didn't like the you didn't like the you didn't like the mountains, bro. I'm you from California. We got mountains, bro. We got mountains here. D. We got mountains here, B. Arizona don't got don't got nothing I haven't seen before. We got desert, we got mountain, we got beaches, we got everything. Bro, you know the Grand Canyon, bro? Come on. That's North Arizona. <laughs> Ain't nobody driving all the way up there. Phoenix and yeah. down. That's it. Okay? I can see from where <laughs> we about, were, so from where we were, I can see Canyon. Tijuana. My geography is all messed up. Yes, sir. <laughs> Arizona is, is, a, is a state that's about yay big, right? So we were down here at the bottom. The Grand Canyon up here at the top. It's literally at the top left. Yeah. You spit hard enough, you hit Vegas. That's how far away it is. Okay? It's more of a tourist attract for Vegas than it is for Arizona. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, no. I will not be going back. And if I do, I'm getting a deluxe luxury suite. The one we had was pretty, was pretty fire. I never had balcony sex before. But uh, now that I have, I feel different. I truly do. I feel. Do, I truly do feel different, bro. So it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But anyway, that's all I got to talk about for this week. <laughs> that's pretty wow. much it. That's it. So, what a beautiful story. Yeah, honestly. Any anybody else got anything they want to get off their chest? Anything they uh, holding on to? No. Nah, Now's the time. You guys know nobody listens to this podcast, so you know it's like a hundred people a week. So yeah, I just want to just say live that I hate women. Wow. We know. We know. <laughs> we know. We know. Truly really inspirational. Mm -hmm. I am in no way, shape, or form affiliated <laughs> with the baby and what he said. He said the baby. <laughs> Y'all see Playing that? Uh... The, baby. <laughs> Bro, the baby really, he sat up there, he doubled down, and then he doubled back immediately. <laughs> Yo, that's got to be the sickest shit He's ever. A, it hit different when those sponsorships start dropping down. That man said yeah, kick no flip, cap. heel flip. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, I feel bad too. I I almost feel bad because he's just. I feel like he's just not. Uh, let me not speak to this man's education level, but I just feel <laughs> like. Jay, Jay. I, no, I just feel like maybe processing some thoughts might just not be firing fast enough. 
You know what I'm have saying? You not, oh. Have you not? Have you? Have you not watched him? Or you ain't watched the baby? Can't say I have. You can install his intelligence all you need. Babe, to. listen, man. That's cool, but I just think there's a, a a few things that some people just don't understand, and they don't understand that they don't understand. So, I, you know, one thing I don't understand: how the fuck are you talk, giving a victory speech? And you just start talking about sucking dick in the parking lot. Like, what is going on here? That, that what, are you, what are you thinking about, buddy? <laughs> See, I was upset because I was really thinking, like, wow, this man made it seem like it's wrong to suck dick in a parking lot. No okay. cap. I mean, and then your scandal, B. Your girl, like, Wait, fine. you're. What? What? Repeat that. Arrow, Arrow, Arrow right? might be a little homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> Arrow might be a little homophobic, bro. What kind of women are you? Keep in mind, you keep in mind, win, keep bro. in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Arrow is not an official <laughs> host of this podcast. I would like to let y'all know that. Okay, just because he a little homophobic don't mean the rest of us. First of all, I be busting it down with Lil Nas X every time Montero come on. Okay, so it's definitely not me. I am nowhere close to homophobic. Nor if Lil Nas would have asked me to be in the shower scene, I would have said absolutely, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Nas X. I'm in that motherfucker. Yes, sir. Mm -mm. I, I didn't even know what the conversation was. Yeah, I, we know. Errol, what kind of ladies are you messing with? Bro. <laughs> 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 Damn, girl, your neck kind of kind of thick. <laughs> Why did you reach for your Adam's apple when he said that? <laughs> Just to confirm. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> he had to make sure. <laughs> oh, man. All I'm saying sorry, is is he, he just was clearly in the moment. I think he truly did have a heated gamer moment. That's what I think it was. I think he was feeling on top of the world. He had a heated gamer moment. Wasn't sure what he said. And then just double down on it and then realize, oh shit, I might have said something I wasn't supposed to. Tried to no, apologize bro, for no, it. And then no. didn't realize he was apologizing for the wrong thing with the wrong context. <laughs> and then he was like, you know what? Fuck that. I said what I said. <laughs> I just know, I know one thing. That man's PR team is wrestling. wrestling. They mm -hmm. don't get no sleep. None. This None man been at it constantly from when he made it up until this point. Just... Just, just like nonsense all the time. They don't sleep. They don't. They sleep. really don't. I feel bad for him, man. But they don't. Hey, it's That's a just hilarious. It's a shame too, cause I like the baby. I really do. I, I, I don't think he. I think he just needs some reeducation. You know, he need a homie to tell. What I think is very interesting is at no point did Lil Nas X say, "Hey, you know what, man? Just, just shoot me a DM. Let's have a conversation about this. I need you to know where you went wrong. You know what I mean?" Or maybe they are, but it's not public. But you know what I mean? Like nobody, nobody was just like, "Hey, by the way, psst, homie, uh, this 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 take right here, this wasn't it." And I don't think it's why. Nas's job to do that. I think well, no, no not his not his job, Randomly. but like he was he was brought up. Think, you know what I mean? And they've made yeah, multiple yeah. songs together. Job at this to home. check you if you if you do something wrong. They might not be homies like that. But no, you know? that's they they yeah they not. I'm talking about like if if somebody like are close around him, then it's like they would probably be the ones to be like, yo. You was wildin', bro. But, like, for somebody that you just came at, you know what I'm saying? Like, Nas, that ain't really... They you know who I like, think is the foulest person in this situation is Boosie. 100%. Oh, Boosie was Boosie, tripping. Boosie is just... Boosie was tripping. Man. I, what I think is worse is nobody nobody's willing to check Boosie. And I, I just... Do you know who Boosie is? I, ain't nobody checking Boosie. I need the alphabet mob to check Boosie. I don't think they checking Boosie. I, I need them to find some way to check Boosie, okay? I don't I think that's I know there's somebody in Boosie's team that's secretly on the flag, bro. He's part of the Alphabet Mafia. He just don't want to say nothing. But they not they, he not going to say that because then Boosie going to be looking at him like... That's what oh, I'm saying. Okay. Plus, I don't think, I don't think Boosie really... To be honest with you, I, I don't think Boosie really understands English that well. I don't think he do either. Because some of the shit that he be saying out of his mouth is just not... Not necessarily coherent, nor was the thing he trying to say make any sense. You know what I mean? It's like his use of the English language is very fuddy duddy. Why was he say. so mad though? In the Instagram, like why? Why was he so upset? Oh, because he's, he, he, he like that literally hurt his soul to where like you you know how you could tell somebody speaking with a certain anger in mm -hmm. their voice. 
Boozy legit sound like he angry. He like he upset. I feel like he might have lost somebody to the Alphabet Mafia at <laughs> some point, and he's hurt wow. by it. And that's what I think. I think I think Boozy probably had a homeboy who was like, "Hey man, so you know, I'm gonna tell you right now. I think uh, me and this dude Chuck getting kind of serious." And he could go, "What the what, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> who is Chuck? Who is Chuck? You didn't mean Chelsea." Nah, man. Nah, Chuck. Chuck. I, Cause I'm, you know, cause I'm gay. And he goes, what? You, you with them alphabet people? Oh, no, man. And he took it personal. That was it. I really think that has happened. Either that or Boosie a little sweet. Yo. And, and, and he don't want to, he probably seen something on a OnlyFans one day. Cause you know he does it. And, oh. Well, they coming for me. Uh, yeah, they coming for you. <laughs> they coming wow. for me. Uh, nah, man. They, see, they be shooting off fireworks in this neighborhood all year round. That's why as soon as July is over, you start hearing them popping until next January. But anyway. You know he been in and out of jail, so ain't no tell. See, you know what, man? And maybe he's a little on the fence. So maybe he's on a bicycle. You know what I mean? Okay. He pedaled the front wheels and the back wheels. Uh, it might be, it, I don't know. Hey man, you listen, you like what you like and you might be confused about it. You know, you might see something and be like, Hey, I kind of like that, but I don't want nobody to know. But I also like this other thing. So, you know, it's, and he just might not be able to articulate where he's at, man. So, you know, I've never seen somebody get upset that another man does not like Coochie. I think that's a little, that's a little suspect to me. But what do I do? I'm, that's surprising me that a lot of the heat is going on baby, but and people don't even know what Boozy said. Like I just think it's well, because Boozy, Boozy said, not hot like that. It's not like Boozy got yeah, a career. You know what I mean? Like yeah, he's living off of back yeah. money. You know? Yeah. He was screaming at the Instagram CEO because he's trying to get his other account back. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, man need right. money. You're right. I'm not saying he probably don't got it. I mean, he definitely got it. He definitely got some money. Like, he's probably mm. still living off of ringtone money and shit like that. But, you know, new money not coming in. Yeah. Because we're not exactly up there. You know what I'm saying? So, but what do I know? What do I know? <sighs> so, anyway, moral of the story. Um, never meet your heroes. Never meet your heroes. And if and if your homie wants to wants to do <clears throat> something that you don't agree with, let that man go ahead and do that. Especially if it's not hurting nobody. So, that's all I got to say. Anybody else got something else to get down off their chest before we leave today? That's it. For no, me. I think that's it. Okay, all right. All right. We've been here a minute. Yes, yeah, sir. Any words of wisdom I'm for the people around? Well, not really, honestly. Right. Make it women. My headspace is fucking... No cap. Fucked up right now, so... Live, live your truth. <laughs> live your truth. Whatever that may be. All right. Y'all yeah, already. okay. Anyway, this has been the Canon Culture Podcast. We want to thank you guys for listening. Make sure, if you guys are listening on Apple, uh, iTunes, make sure to rate this podcast five stars because, you know, it's your favorite. Uh, leave a comment, too, and let us know why it's your favorite. Uh, if you are listening on Spotify or any other platform, make sure you guys go ahead and hit click that follow button and follow everybody whose links are in the description. Uh, we want to thank you guys once again for listening to this weird-ass podcast. Every single week we come back. And uh, you know what? We just try to do our best to uh, entertain and, I guess, educate. Right, guys? I would think so. That's the canonical. Yes, word. Maybe not for the right reasons. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not for the right reasons. You know, but we try to try to give some canonical advice every week, even though we just sit here just talking shit for an hour and a half. You basically. too will learn how to hate women. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You too will learn how to hate women, but. With that being said, we will see you guys next week. Who wants to say it? Be sure to keep it canon. All right. There you go. I appreciate that. <laughs>